So here is my uh, 2003 Canadian motorcycle. Uh, I bought it in 2015. It was my very first motorcycle. It is now here in Belgium, uh, my home country. Uh, it flew from Canada to here a couple years back and we haven't been able to register it in Belgium because we don't have a uh, European conformity. So what I did is bought a frame which has the European conformity though the the uh, serial number is able to get the paperwork so I bought it in England here's the plate uh, and now it's gone from England exported uh, done all the paperwork and what I need to do is to put this motorbike on this frame so to start I have to disassemble completely this bike which is a pain because it's working pretty well but I have to take that risk if I want to drive legally here in Europe with it so let's go Okay, so we made some good progress. Just removed the rear mudguard. And now I got to get on the cables and all. And then the engine. So yeah, I am wondering if I can remove the old fork at once or not. Uh, that I'll have to see, but uh, as long as I don't wanna remove the tires, I'll just leave it that way. The Suspension is going to be, I think, one of the tricky parts, and definitely the engine. I already got two screws that broken, so we're going to have to deal with that. But right now, I'm just going to take care of everything that's around the engine. Need a lot of pictures, and be careful. All right, let's go. <laughs> So we got a little bit of trouble because I was not organized enough and I plugged in the wrong way the coil, I think it's called, like the thing that gives the sparks to the plugs. Anyways, uh, now it's good, it's running, I just need to do a couple details and a small assembly and like finishing and stuff but it will be alright tomorrow. I thought it could be alright today. It's gonna be for tomorrow. Now it's just details. I think so. I hope so. Just pipes. A bunch of stuff that I'm having trouble with. And, and saddlebags, seats, and windshield. So basically stuff that I've already taken 
in and out a bunch of times so I think we're doing pretty good okay so let's see tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow will be assembled I've been working on it for about four weeks maybe yeah about that like three or four weeks and it took a while but there were some days that I couldn't work because it was too cold and messy and wet and rainy and everything but but we we got something built here and we're able to do it okay so uh, hopefully tomorrow it's done